I don't like this. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, I want us to talk about workers' models. Workers' models has been in the news recently because of the anticipation for the USPS to announce who is going to manufacture the delivery trucks. Last week was supposed to be the announcement date from USPS, but they pushed it out six weeks. So that got me worried because prior to that announcement or uh, leading up to that announcement date of uh, October 13, uh, there was so much excitement. People were hoping that, you know, if workers win that contract, the stock price is going to go up. I was actually waiting to see uh, what's, what was going to happen. Then obviously USPS came and pushed it out six weeks until after the election. I don't know if the election has anything to do with their decision to push it out because they didn't really provide any good information as to why they were pushing it out. So that got me thinking and doing some research and looking more in depth into workhorse like, hey, what if you don't win this contract? What happens? So I have four red flags that I've identified I want to share with you guys if you do own workhorse in your portfolio. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content so workhorse again to me is one of these companies that it's a little bit crazy they have a lot going on and a lot not going on and let me explain why i'm saying that because right now the whole bust around the company is the fact that they are waiting for these huge contract from usps to, to provide them their delivery trucks so what if they don't win that contract that is my first fear. So, but I have a list here that I want to really kind of walk you guys through for my four key red flags that makes me panic right now because I own Workhorse in my portfolio. Number one is that Workhorse has a 10% stake in Lordstown Motors in Ohio. So the question is, why are you owning 10% of your competition? That's the way I, I, I'm looking at it. But it, it gets even interesting because the founder of Lost Town Models and Work Horse is you now the same guy. But he was the CEO of Work of Workhorse and he left Workhorse to go be the CEO in Lost Town Models. And so I'm thinking you don't live a good situation to go into a bad situation. You probably live in a bad situation to go into a better situation. So he probably sat there and looked at uh, uh, Lordstown Models and says, no, this is probably the best situation for me. So I'm going to go be the CEO there and, and let you guys figure out what's going on here. So that's to me, that's red flag number one. The fact that he chose Lordstown over Workhorse. It might not be any issue for some of you guys out there, but to me, that's an issue. Number two is that Workhorse right now is depending a lot on the contract with USPS. And there's no guarantee that they're going to win that contract in any shape or form. It's, I mean, it's open to, you know, to all the other uh, uh, competitors. So what if they don't win? What happens to the stock price? Again, as an investor, if they don't win, this stock price is going to tank. So I'm preparing myself looking at this that, like, hey, you cannot be putting all your eggs or all your chips in this one contract because if you don't win it it's gonna be open season people are short sellers are gonna jump in and just beat the hell out of this stock so that's something that you have to be aware of number three is that workhorse currently has a contract in place signed in 2018 with ups to deliver 1000 delivery trucks as of today, they've only successfully delivered 350 of those trucks. So 650 pending and to the point where if you are going after a big contract with USPS, wouldn't you want to show USPS that, hey, look at what we did for UPS. We delivered a thousand trucks, uh, delivery trucks to USPS in maybe what, three years. But no, you are be behind. You've only delivered 350 out of a thousand and you're going after this massive contract with, with USPS. So as, a, as, as, as an investor, why would I want to give you that contract when I see that you cannot even deliver on time? You haven't been able to you know, meet your obligation with a big contract. So to me, that is a huge red flag and I'm looking at, I'm not too happy about it. So 
it's now to the but my point number four still involves USPS. So USPS at this point has actually gone out and invested with their competitor, which is called Arriver. It's a UK based uh, electric car manufacturer. And I actually did a video about that here on the channel, which I'm gonna hook up here so you can definitely go check it out. So this is a new company, it's still a startup. They I mean they, they haven't announced anything that they're going in public yet. Again, in that video I talked about. Uh, the options that I see for them to go public. So USPS has actually invested in Arriver and placed an order for 10,000 delivery trucks. That is even more so than what they actually placed for Workhorse. Workhorse, they had an order for 1,000. Now with Arriver, they have an order for 10,000, which tells me that they trust Arriver so much that they're giving them even more orders than they did with Workhorse. So that it's a huge red flag. And I see as though USPS is actually dissatisfied with Workhorse to the point where it's like, hey, I'm gonna go invest money in this startup and then place my order there. If that doesn't, if that doesn't sound like a red flag to you, then I don't know what it is. So to me, those are the four key things, four red flags that I'm looking at right now that scare me about Workhorse. So now you're probably asking yourself, but hey, Mr. V, I do own Workhorse, so what should I do? I'm glad you asked that question. Uh, again, like I said, for transparency, I do own Workhorse in my portfolio. I think I have about 300 shares of Workhorse or so. So what I'm gonna do is, right now, I'm gonna set a stop loss for workhorse i mean i'm gonna a stop loss to liquidate everything just so if things start to go south i'll rather sell everything and then buy back again at the bottom if that happens so i have a i'm gonna set a stop loss to liquidate anything because again all these red flags here they're just good i mean if all these things just creep in this stock might go down to i don't know 20 15 10 Again, these are all bad things. Number one is that contract with, USP, with uh, USPS. If they don't win it, boy, this stock will take a serious, serious beating. So let me know in the comment section, what do you think about this? Do you think Mr. V, all those, yes, uh, you see them as red flag, but not something that you have to worry about? Or you say, hey, Mr. V, thanks for sharing this because I didn't even know that all this was going on behind the scenes. So again, let me know in the comment section. If you're looking to get started with investing and you don't know where to start, Webo would be a platform that you can definitely give them a try right now. If you sign up and deposit $100, you get two free stocks, not one, two free stocks and no charge to you. So links in the description, definitely go check them out. And as always guys, don't be a greedy savage and stay motivated.